question will go with Ian Bolton from Sky Sports News. Frank, hello, can you hear me? I am, I can hear you. Frank, you good? Yes, good, thank you. Good. Um, listen, obviously it's a, um, a very big result for Chelsea, but in the grand scheme of, of this season, it's also a very important result in deciding the title. Do you, do you have some, some words for Liverpool, firstly? I think we just congratulate Liverpool. I don't think this game decided a title. That was decided a long time ago through Liverpool's consistency and performances and wins. So, fair play to them, of course. Give them full credit. Uh, deserve to win it. Great players. Great manager. I know the, the, the hard work that he goes into trying to win a title with a competition they've got. We saw that with how good Manchester City are tonight. So, big congrats to them. Um, they deserve it. Having won it with seven matches to go, do, do, you, do you sense that they are going to be a real force in seasons to come now yeah of, of course they will um that's the, the premier league i think the the for the last three seasons themselves and city have been out on their own pretty much um and then that's a lot of work as i say through Jurgen Klopp, pep guardiola the projects the plans the players they brought in how they work what great coaches they are um and they're going to be there and that's just clear for us to, to see that it's something it's a gap that we want to try and bridge and move up towards but they're two of the best teams in the world so um yeah um, again, credit to Liverpool for what they've done. Okay, next up we'll go with Liam Trumi and the Athletic. Hi, Frank. Hi, Liam. Um, obviously, Liverpool are the benchmark. That's very clear on a, on a night like tonight, looking forward to next season. But tonight's like tonight, the result that you got against City, the way you played, coupled with the players that you're adding this summer and that you may still be able to add, does that give you some real confidence that, that you're building towards that level now? Um, well, as I said before, the, 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 the two, two of, if not the best teams in the world, um, and they're there for a reason. And, and I think we just have to look at ourselves and work. The one result against uh, City and a good performance tonight uh, is a great feeling for us tonight. But the reason we don't amass enough points is because of consistency, which those two teams have reached. So... No, there's a clear gap and it, and it won't happen overnight with one or two signings. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. As I said, Liverpool and City have been a work in progress for a good few years now and have had a lot of success and are getting success now. So I'm not getting carried away. I'm happy with tonight. We can get better. We can be better on the ball. We can have more possession of the ball. It's one of the only games that we really didn't have the lion's share of possession, but we have to accept that tonight um, and be happy with the result. Just a reminder, guys, if you want to ask a question, please use the wave function. Next up, we'll go for Nick Purell at PA. Hi, Frank. Uh, thanks for your time. Um, just on uh, tonight in the performances, obviously, a uh, great goal from Christian Pulisic and cool finish from Willian. Um, you talked about um, Willian and his importance um, the other day. Given what's happened, you must be delighted with, with his uh, sort of you know response tonight. And so just a word on him, if you can, and also just a word on Christian and his... Um, and his, his form at the moment, he looks really sharp. Yeah, um, delighted with, with William. Um, he's been great for me this season. Uh, players look up to him. Senior professional in the, in the group. He has quality, has work ethic. And uh, and it was a continuation of his form um, in parts of this big parts of the season. So, delighted with him today. Um, and then, of course, Christian. Christian came in last summer. A lot of talk about it. He didn't really get a break. When he got in, the team was playing well. was going really well. Then he gets a really tough injury. So, uh, I wanted to protect him a bit against Villa, see that he could make an impact. He did that. I always plan to start him against City because I know what he can bring in these sort of games and he brought it and did really well. So, you know, he needs to keep working. He's a young player. But he's got so much talent and um, he can get better and better. OK, any more guys? Use the wave function if you want to ask. If not, we'll move on to the FA Cup. Ian Bolton. In again? Yeah, one more. Is this a FA Cup now? Not a new background? Oh, oh. I Ian, can't... Ian, you need to unmute yourself and just start the question again, please. Thank you. Sorry, technology Sorry. is getting the better of me, mate. <laughs> uh, listen, I, I, just, I just wanted to ask you about how, how important a result this was for Chelsea. 
Thanks for asking that, Ian. That's great. <laughs> we, it was, I was trying. That is my major concern. I, I do appreciate the Liverpool won the title tonight and fair play. It's nice to get a Chelsea question. I, I, I joke, but it was a big it was a big performance for us. We had to work a lot off the ball, as you do against uh, Pep Guardiola and teams and Manchester City. Um, the the way the lads, the work ethic, the focus through the game, um, how dangerous we were. We had the better chances, I think, in the game. Um, and it's a big three points for us, but we're in a battle here. It's not going to be decided tonight. Uh, it's a nice result should give us confidence, but the consistency now we produce at the end of the season is what's going to define us this year and if we can get the finish that we want to have. Thank you. OK, and then we'll finish this section with Moose Talk Sport. And he's gone. So we're going to finish it there. That's the end of the Premier League review section.